the maximum and the minimum temperature of Velgatur in Telangana on a particular day of December were minus 6 degrees and 7 degrees. Now, children, can you represent it on number line? Yes, we can represent it on number line. Observe, this is a number line that indicates degree centigrade. Now, we have to identify minus 6 degrees and 7 degrees on this number line. Now, children, identify where the minus 6 degrees lies. Yes, it lies at a distance of 6 units from the 0. So, here it is minus 6 degrees. Now, in the same way, children identify the 7 degrees. So, it lies at a distance of 7 units right side of the 0. So, here it is the 7 degrees temperature at the right side of 0 at a distance of 7 units. Here, the number line acts as a reference scale to indicate the status of temperature on a particular day. Now, children, let us see the one more situation. Here, the following figure each person A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H are standing in a queue. Now, with the reference of a ticket counter in this direction, A is the first person and H is the last person. If I change the point of reference to the KF in this direction, H will be the first person and A will be the last person. Children, you might have observed that the position value of object it changes along the change of reference. Now, children, here from these two examples, we have to observe one thing. The first one is, we have the only one point of reference that is a number line and we indicate the numbers on the number line. Whereas, in the second example, we use the two reference points. The first one is ticket counter and the second one is coffee center. Children, we can identify or locate a point in a plane with respect to the two references. Now, how do we do that? Let us learn today's topic coordinate geometry. Objectives, at the end of this chapter, you will able to understand the concept of coordinate geometry, explain the Cartesian system and measure the perpendicular distance of a point from coordinate axis and plot a point in a plane if its coordinates are known. Topics for today, the first one Cartesian system or Cartesian plane and the second one plotting a point in a Cartesian plane when the coordinates are given. Now, children let us do a small activity. So, take a paper and mark a point the hint is the point should be at a distance of 6 centimeters from the left edge. I think the many students mark the point as shown in the figure. Now, children in this paper which point do you suppose to correct? See all these points are correct because here the A at a point at a distance of 6 centimeters from left edge and B is also at a distance of 6 centimeters from left edge and the same as C and D. Each point A, B, C and D is at a distance of 6 centimeters from the left edge. All these points are correct. To fix the exact position of a point, what more information is needed? To fix its exact position, another reference say the distance from the edge of the top or bottom has to be given. Now, children do the same activity and locate a point and the point is at a distance of 6 centimeters from the left edge and 8 centimeters from the bottom edge. See, here it is a point which is at a distance of 6 centimeters from the left edge and 8 centimeter distance from the bottom edge. Now, how many points with the data can be marked? Yes, only a single point can be marked. So, how many reference do you need to, to fix a position of a point? We need two references to describe the position of a point, exact position of a point. And here, this is the point P, which is at a distance of 6 centimeters from the left edge and 8 centimeters from the bottom edge. And here, the position of P is 6, 8. The representation of a point on a plane with the idea of two references lead to development of new branch of mathematics known as coordinate geometry. See, the coordinate geometry. 
it is the study of geometrically representing ordered pair of numbers, the system of describing the position of a point in a plane. So, the Rene Descartes of a French mathematician and the philosopher has developed the study of coordinate geometry. He found an association between the algebraic equations and geometric curves and figures. In this chapter, we shall discuss about the point and also how to plot a point on a coordinate plane. Now, children, let us solve a problem related to position of a point. So, in a locality, there is a main road along the north side south direction. The map is given below with the help of the picture answer the following questions. See children, this is a locality, here it is a main road in the direction of north south and here the street 1, street 2, street 3, street 4 and here the some houses located by using the help of a alphabet numbers and post office, hospital, school, water tank is also etcetera located. Now, we have to answer the following questions and observe children, he is the person of this locality, he know about all this locality he help to solve our problems. The first one, what is the third object on the left side in street number 3? So, this is left side and the right side. See, here the road in the north direction, if the person moves in this direction, for that person, here this is the left hand side and this is right hand side. We have to identify the third object on the left side in street number 3. So, the person is ready to identify the location. Children, just observe his path is moving in north direction, he is in front of street number 3 and he entered in street number 3 moving in east direction and in street number 3 third object which is left side, yes it is water tank. So, third object in street number 3 is water tank. Now, second question, find the name of the second house which is in the right side of street number 2. So, again person is ready to identify the answer. So, just observe his path, he is moving in street number 2 in the east direction, yes in street number 2 right side second house is Mr. J's house. Now, look at the position of Mr. K's house, so person know about the K's house, so just observe his path, so he is moving in north direction, he is in front of street number 2. Yes, he entered in street number 2 in the east direction and the right side third object. Yes, children, see the address street number 2, right side third object 1, 2, 3, third object is Mr. K's house. So, this is the location of Mr. K's house, street number 2, right side third object. Now, how do you describe the position of the post office? Now, again the person is ready to identify the post office, so just observe his path, he is moving again in the north direction, he is in, in front of street number 4, he entered in street number 4 and the right side first object, yes in street number 4 right side first object is post office. So, this is the address of the post office, street number 4 right side first house is post office. Now, how do you describe the location of the hospital? So, again the person is ready to identify the location of the hospital, just observe his path. Yes, he is moving again in the north direction, he is again in, in front of street number 4, he entered in street number 4 in the east direction, left side third object, yes in street number 4 left side 1, 2, 3, the third house is hospital, yes this is hospital. A Cartesian system. Children, we use the number line to represent the numbers by marking the points at a fixed distance. Let us observe the following number line. So, this is a number line and these are the fixed points at a fixed distance and this is a point fixed point known as origin and we denote it with 0. So, this is origin and the right side of the origin we denote the numbers and these numbers are known as positive numbers and the left side of origin we denote these numbers minus 1, 2, 3, 4 and these numbers are known as negative numbers. Now, children observe this is a horizontal line and x, x dash it is known as x axis. 
and this is a vertical number line and I am naming this as y y dash is known as y axis. So, both these number lines intersect at a point 0 perpendicularly. Let us observe this is a graph paper and the horizontal number line x x dash and the vertical number line is y. Now, children this is a graph paper the horizontal number line x x dash is known as x axis and the vertical number line y y dash is known as y axis. Now, these two x axis and y axis intersect at a point origin. So, this is known as origin and children here in the x axis right side of the origin means in the direction of o in the ray o x in the direction of ray o x all these numbers are positive. So, this is known as positive x axis. Now, in the left side of the origin on the x axis in the direction of ray o x all these numbers are negative. So, this is known as negative x axis and also in the upwards direction to the origin on y axis here all these numbers are denoted positive numbers. So, in the direction of ray o y is known as positive y axis and downwards on y axis in the direction of ray o y dash all these numbers are negative. So, this is known as negative y axis. Now, children x axis and y axis horizontal line is x axis and the vertical line is y axis these two axis axis means singular form axis means polar form. So, these two axis divide the plane into four parts into four parts each part is known as one quadrant each part is known as one quadrant and here we start always from here. So, this is known as first quadrant and we denote it with q 1 and move in anti clockwise direction. So, here it is this is a second quadrant and we denote it with q 2 and this is a third quadrant we denote it with q 3 and this is a fourth quadrant we denote it with q 4. Now, children see once again x axis and y axis divide the plane into four parts each part is known as one quadrant and this is first quadrant q 1, q 2, q 3, q 4 move always in anti clockwise direction. So, the plane is called the Cartesian plane named after Rene Descartes or coordinate plane or x y plane. The axes are called the coordinate axis. See children here this the plane contains x axis and y axis. So, this plane is known as coordinate plane or Cartesian plane or x y plane because it contains x axis and y axis. So, this plane named as x y plane and here the axis x axis and y axis is known as coordinate axis. Now, children there is a relation between sines and coordinate of a point and also quadrant of a point in which it lies. Let us discuss about this concept. So, this is a Cartesian plane and this is the first quadrant and observe in the first quadrant x values are positive and y values are also positive. So, here I assign the sign for the first quadrant plus comma plus x value positive and y value positive and we indicate like this x greater than 0 means positive y greater than 0 means also positive whereas, in second quadrant children observe here this negative x axis and this is positive y axis. So, assign the sign for the second quadrant points minus comma plus minus means for x coordinate and plus means for y coordinate and we indicate like this x less than 0 negative and y greater than 0 positive. So, in the same third quadrant observe here x axis uh, contains the negative values means the negative direction of x axis and here it is the negative y axis. So, both the axis are negative in third quadrant. So, I assign the sign for the points that lies in third quadrant that is minus comma minus here x is less than 0 means negative and y less than 0 means also negative. So, observe in the fourth quadrant x values are positive y values are negative. So, I assign the points that lies in fourth quadrant with plus comma minus and we indicate the place with x greater than 0 
and minus with y less than 0. Minus means the negative y less than 0. Now, children, the one more important topic locating a point in a Cartesian plane. So, how to locate a point in a Cartesian plane? So, here we need the two references. The first one is horizontal reference and the second one is vertical reference. Horizontal reference is known as x axis and the vertical reference is known as y axis. So, remember children to locating a point in a Cartesian plane always we need the two references. So, let us see how to locate a point in a Cartesian plane. So, here I am locating a point in first quadrant and I am naming this point as A. So, we have to locate or identify the position of A in first quadrant. So, children always we have to move first horizontally to reach the point A either on the x axis or parallel to the x axis. So, children remember we have to start always with horizontally along the x axis or parallel to x axis. See we have to move towards the point A from y axis parallel to the x axis. Just count how many units we have to move to reach the point A. Unit means each box indicates one unit. So, we have to move to reach the point A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 units we have to move to reach the point A either on the x axis or parallel to the x axis. So, this is known as horizontal reference or x reference horizontally. Next, we have to move to reach the point A vertically means vertical reference along parallel to the y axis or on the parallel to the y axis. So, start from x axis and we have to reach the point A just count how many units we have to move. Yes, 1, 2, 3 we have to move to reach the point A from x axis 3 units. So, children this is a vertical reference either parallel to y axis or on the y axis. So, here the point A is at a distance of 5 units horizontally and 3 units vertically. So, its coordinate we denote like this 5 comma 3. Children this is the way of writing the coordinate or the location or the position of a point 5 comma 3. The 5 is known as x coordinate and 3 is known as y coordinate. Now, children remember here the most important topic is how to locate the position of a point. Children here the one more important concept is how to identify x coordinate. The x coordinate is always measured the perpendicular distance from y axis. Remember this x coordinate is always measured perpendicular distance from y axis and the y coordinate is always measured from perpendicular distance of x axis. So, this is perpendicular distance from x axis. So, this is the way of representing a point in the coordinate. Now, see here I am taking the one more point in the second quadrant and I am naming this as point B. Now, in the same way we have to locate the position of a point B in second quadrant. So, always start horizontally. We have to move horizontally to reach the point B. Just count how many units we have to move from y axis parallel to the negative direction of x axis. Children count the units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 units we have to move reach B horizontally. Next vertical reference. Vertical reference means it is parallel to the positive direction of y axis and start from the negative direction of x axis. So, this is 1, 2. So, 2 units we have to move to reach the point B parallel to the positive direction of x axis. This is 2 units and the coordinate of the point B is minus 6 comma 2. Why it is minus 6? Because here the horizontal line is towards the negative direction of x axis and here plus 2 indicates it is the positive direction of y axis. So, the coordinate of B is minus 6 comma 2. Now, look at the point C in third quadrant. In the same way, we have to identify the location of the point C. So, same children, we have to move first horizontally. Just identify how many units we have to move to reach the point C horizontally. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, 4 units we have to move horizontally parallel to the yes, negative x axis and vertically. See, how many units we have to move? 1, 2, 3. 3 units we have to move to reach C vertically that is parallel to the negative y axis. So, the coordinate of C are yes minus 4 comma minus 3 because both are the negative directions 
horizontal reference parallel to the negative x axis and the vertical reference is also parallel to the negative y axis. So, its coordinate is minus 4 comma minus 3. Now, this is the point in fourth quadrant and I am naming this as point D. Now, children same look at the position of point D in fourth quadrant always we have to start from horizontally that is parallel to the x axis. Just count how many units we have to move to reach the D. Yes, we have to move 2 units to reach the point D. So, this is horizontal reference. Now, vertical reference children observe this is a vertical reference parallel to the negative y axis and here we have to move 4 units 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is 4 units we have to move to reach the point D parallel to the negative y axis. So, it is a coordinate is 2 comma minus 4. Now, children here the minus 4 indicates the parallel to the negative y axis and plus 2 indicates parallel to the positive x axis. So, the coordinate of D is 2 comma minus 4. Now, children see how to find out the coordinate of a point that lies on x axis and y axis. Every point on the x axis has no distance from x axis. Therefore, the y coordinate of a point lying on x axis is always 0. x axis is denoted by the equation y equal to 0 and the general form of a point that lies on x axis is x comma 0. Similarly, every point on the y axis has no distance from y axis. Therefore, the x coordinate of the point that lying on y axis is always 0. We denote the equation of y axis with x equal to 0 and the general form of a point that lies on y axis is 0 comma y. The x coordinate is also known as abscissa and the y coordinate is also called ordinate. Children see here a phi comma 3 its abscissa is phi ordinate is 3. Similarly, for b minus 4 comma minus 3 abscissa is minus 4 and ordinate is minus 3 and the coordinate of origin is denoted by 0 comma 0 plotting a point on the Cartesian plane when its coordinates are given. So, children we have to denote the coordinate a minus 2 comma 4 b 4 comma 3 in the Cartesian plane. Now, this is a Cartesian plane and origin horizontal and x axis vertical and y axis. So, children observe the point a minus 2 comma 4 lies in second quadrant. So, we have to denote the point a minus 2 comma 4 in the second quadrant and observe here the x coordinate is negative means we have to move in the negative direction from origin. So, how many units we have to move children? Yes, 2 units in the negative direction observe yes and here the y coordinate is positive. So, we have to move in the positive direction of y axis. How many units children? Yes, 4 units we have to move observe. So, this is a point a minus 2 comma 4. Similarly, b 4 comma minus 3 lies in fourth quadrant and x value is positive. So, we have to move in the positive direction of x axis. How many units children? Yes, 4 units we have to move and here the y coordinate is negative means we have to move in the negative direction of y axis for 3 units. So, this is the point b 4 comma minus 3. So, in this way we can represent the points on the Cartesian plane. Now, are the positions of phi comma minus 8 and minus 8 comma phi is same justify your answer. So, phi comma minus 8 is lies in fourth quadrant and see the position of the point phi comma minus 8 children. Yes, this is the point phi comma minus 8 in fourth quadrant and identify minus 8 comma phi. So, it lies in the second quadrant and its position is here this is the point minus 8 comma phi lies and also phi comma minus 8 is at a distance of 8 units from x axis and phi units from y axis. Similarly, minus 8 comma phi is at a distance of phi units from x axis and 8 units from y axis. So, these two points lies in different quadrant. So, their positions are different. Plot the points 2 comma 3, 6 comma 3 and 4 comma 7 in a graph sheet. Join them to make it a triangle. Find the area of the triangle. So, children we have to plot these points in Cartesian plane. See first look at the point 2 comma 3. We have to move horizontally 2 units, vertically 3 units. Now, this is the point a 2 comma 3, next 6 comma 3 we have to move horizontally 6 units and vertically 3 units. So, this is the point b 6 comma 3. Now, 4 comma 7 move horizontally 
4 units and vertically 7 units. So, this is the point C 4 comma 7. Now, children join all these points, then we get a triangle and we have to find out area of this triangle. Now, children what is the area of the triangle formula? Yes, half into base into height. Now, find out the base and height of the triangle. So, base is A B, you have to reach from A to B that gives the length of the base. So, children observe here, we are moving 4 units from A to B. So, that gives the breadth 4 units. Similarly, height, height means it is a perpendicular distance from C to the side A B and this is the height and this is also 4 units. Now, area of the triangle formula half into base into height, substitute B value 4 units, H value 4 units, 4 into 4 16, 16 by 2 gives answer 8 units square. Now, this is area of the triangle A B C. Now, children, it is time to an activity. Activity. So, this is a car in this Cartesian plane, identify the position of the car. Now, car moving on the positive direction of x axis and it stops at a point 4. So, what is the coordinate of this car? Means position of car, yes, it is 4, 0. Now, children, car is moving in the second quadrant, identify the position of the car. Yes, see here x coordinate is minus 4, y coordinate is 3. So, minus 4, 3. Now, car is moving in the third quadrant. So, position of the car is yes, x coordinate is minus 3, y coordinate is minus 3. So, this is minus 3, comma minus 3. Now, similarly, identify the position of the car children in fourth quadrant. Yes, this is the position of the car. Identify its coordinates x coordinate 6, y coordinate minus 4. So, this is the position of car is 6, comma minus 4. Children, we will meet in the next session with one more interesting topic. Until then, take care and goodbye. Aharam Padakuna Unchuram, Ahara Parakshan Dwarane Sadio Manam Pratiroju, Enno Ahara Padadal Vartuntam Avikuni Rojluga Mana Intlone Nilavantunavi Kavachu Udaharnaku, Papulu, Danyalu, Chintapandu, Modlavanavi Kuni Apure Konkochi, Vadevi Kavachu Udaharnaku, Pandlu, Kuragailu, Mamsam Alage Kuni Kodirojla Patu, Dashko Danki Kavachu Udaharnaku, Pachalu, Jamlu, Apadalu, Vadialu Eden and Patiki, Ahar and Padakunda Untene, Argim Chekurthuni. Ahar and Nani the Kolpakunda, Padakunda, Dirka Kalam Nilo Unchadani, Ahara Paradakshana Antam. Badranga Paradakshan Chapana Aharani, Bavishetla Kuda Vadkochu. Ahara Paradakshanaku, Intivada, Avalimichagina Kundi Padatru, Iputelskuna. Endelo, Endabetadam. Danium, Papulu, Nona Ginjalu, Mudlena Martini, Ipadetlo, Temale Kunda, Endabertaru. Ivani, Munduga, Mokami the Endipotai. Nilva chase mundu, Marukasari, Endelo arboitam valna, Tema purtia, Nashinchipotuni, Tema lake potamalna, Sukhma julu peregalu, Vatini, Surakshitanga nilva chase coachu, Endabetadam lone, Marukapadati, Veganga, Podigali pumpi, Endabetadam, Yantrikanga, Leda, Sahajisidanga, Podigalini pumpichadam valna, Temanu, Tisivestaru, Ante kaka, Endabetadam valna, Enjamal cheria, Arikatadam valna, Padadala parimanam, Tagutuni, Anduvalna. Aharani Chala Sulubanga Ravana Chevachu Alage Nilva Chevachu Rendo Padati Uppu Sugandha Dravialu Nuneto Uragay Petadam Uppu Sugadan Ravialu Nune Uragay Palakshanku Dohadam Chesai Prati Aharam Lo Kontamira Niruntuni Adi Sukhmajul Peradanki Dohadam Chesundi Uppu Sugandha Dravialu Aharam Lo Nitini Grahistai Anduvalana Sukhmajulu Peragau Avalu Mirialu Inguva Modalina Suganda Dravialu, Nilva Chebad in Ahara Mukka Suvasanu, Penchutai Uragailu Leda, Nilva Pachalu, Sadar Nanga, Nuna the Kapabadi Untai Anduvalana, Gali, Ahara and Takakunda, E. Nunepura, Nivaristundi Moda Padati Jam, Mariu, Jelly Thayar Chetam Pandalo, Kuragailo, Niru Tolaginchi, Rasaina Parakshakalu Vadi Jam, Mariu, Jelly Thayar Chestaru Ivi, Nirnita Kalam, Nilva Untai Appil, Mamedi, Bopai Anasa, Pachimamidi, Modalena, Pandla Gujinu, Saripadinanta, Parimanam Lo, 
చక్కెరతో కలిపి దగ్గరగా ఉడికించి తేమను తొలగించి జామ్ తయారు చేసుకోవచ్చు పండ్లను నీరు లేకుండా ఉడకబెట్టి వడకట్టడం ద్వారా జిల్లీలను తయారు చేస్తారు ఇలా వడకట్టిన తేట 